821, originating proceedings. A proceeding is originated by filing a petition containing the following. A, an allegation that the respondent assaulted or attempt to assault his spouse, former spouse, parent, child, or other member of the same family or household, or engage in disorderly conduct, harassment, sexual misconduct, forcible touching, sexual abuse in the second or third, stalking, criminal mischief, menacing, reckless endangerment, criminal obstruction of breathing or blood circulation, strangulation, identity theft in the first, second, third degree, grand larceny in the third or fourth, or coercion in the second degree. Wait, um, wait, what is that again? Shit. That's like when you make somebody do something or you like coerce, I don't know. I guess it means like you coerce them to do something, but it's apparently a crime towards any such person. Next, the relationship of the, of the people, the name of each and every child in the family or household, and the relationship to the parties, a request for the order of protection or conciliation procedures, an allegation as to whether any accusatory instrument has been filed in the criminal court, amended, appended to the copy of the petition, provided shall be a copy of the notice described in section 812, subdivision 5. So I think that was a crap that I just read. Yeah, it's this this notice that this one doesn't say the court clerk, though, so I didn't really read it, but it's got to be in English and Spanish and tell them about a, a shelter in the community and the legal rights and remedies. Um, you may ask the DA to file a criminal complaint. The forms you need to obtain order protection are available from the family court and the local criminal court and then the address and telephone number shall be listed and then it's got to say filing a criminal complaint or family offense petition containing allegations that are knowingly false is a crime and then it says that the, these copies of the notice um, shall be provided to the fucking chief administrator to be distributed to the victims through the family court as such time as person first comes before the court and to the State Department of Health for distribution at the hospitals. No cause of action for damages shall arise in favor of any person by, really, by their failure to comply with the provisions except gross negligence or willful misconduct. So if the family court wants to transfer something to the criminal court, they have to give reasonable notice to the district attorney and consent a petitioner. The district attorney gets an opportunity to be heard, but he doesn't have to consent. And then the fucking chief administrator shall promulgate rules to facilitate record sharing and other communication between criminal and family court. Relating to the confidentiality, expungement, and sealing of records, where such courts exercise concurrent jurisdiction. Uniform forms for a TOP, we know that. We know about the venue, I already did it. Okay, so, sua sponte, and at any time in the proceedings, the court may direct the filing of a 10, 4, or 5, and consolidate the proceedings... And I did that. Okay, so at the time of the filing of the petition, the court may, one, issue a summons or warrant, two, issue a TOP, three, no, there is no three. It just says issue a TOP. They have to file the petition first in this article. And this thing has that same stupid 120 hours, 144 hours about the fucking Saturday, Sunday, or holiday um, after the arrest of the respondent to determine upon material and relevant evidence whether sufficient cause exists to keep the respondent in custody.